Hi, I'm Lise Colucci. I'm one of the life coaches over at Queen Being. On this program, we hear stories and questions from survivors of narcissistic abuse. Today's topic was on spiritual abuse. If that sounds good, hit subscribe and let's go. Hi, today I'm talking to Abish. Hi, Abish. Hello, Lisa. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Excellent. I would like to address an issue that is uh, big bigger than my situation. Mm -hmm. And I feel that my situation speaks to many. And that is uh, the experience that I went through regarding um, what I consider to be corporate institutionalized narcissistic abuse mm -hmm. and um, combined with spiritual abuse and ongoing practices that are extremely harmful to human beings. So you feel like within that community and within the religious institution that there were narcissistic abuses going on within that community? Yes, I feel that it comes from the top, the top, you know, however many million members there are right now, and they claim to be uh, worldwide growing. Age 18, um, traveled a couple of states away at great expense. We were, we were very poor, very poor. And 10% uh, of the income went to that corporation, no matter what, even if our, our propane tank was empty and we were not going to have heat. There was a, a like a faith promoting story built around. We don't know how the how it kept going because, you know, God must have intervened because we paid our our 10 percent. The checklist for uh, what you do, how you how you, you know, play the game includes finding or choosing a partner that also meets requirements on the checklist. Mm -hmm. The perfect bait and switch was getting on the inside of the uh, great and spacious building with uh, one single family member that I knew um, for a pre-wedding ritual, including a required pre-wedding ritual. The rest of my family was on the outside, including one of my parents, and that's wrong. And it just like sometimes I cannot bear that pain. But um, the the perfect surprise bait and switch was uh, the part where <laughs> where the requirement is that you promise to never reveal the things that you learned there that day, never reveal um, the super special sacred name. So the first uh, covenant or promise or vow or oath was, if I reveal these things, I will suffer my life to be taken. What does that mean? Looking back, I can see that I participated in severing my own psychic vocal cords, my own voice. Mm -hmm. It silenced my voice. Mm -hmm. It cut my, my head off from the rest of my body. And I spent the next however many years until I was uh, 36 years old in that trauma, in that CPTSD, and being called crazy and trying all these different fix-it things. When I left, a message given by uh, my soon-to-be ex-husband said to me that the local leader told him to tell me, we don't just let people go. So it was an intimidation factor as well. The yeah. part that sticks with me regarding the narcissistic abuse on the corporate, you know, spiritual level, the MLM scheme, and it is never good enough. 
I would come home on Sundays, you know, from a three hour meeting and it would be like this ramped up, amped up, you know, make the appearance good and, you know, do the lesson, give the thing, song and dance, blah, 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 and then come home and crash into my bed, sobbing, you know, and then sleep it off for three hours. So you felt like instead of being uplifted and drawn towards something, you were being devalued. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. And the underlying gaslighting assumption is that we are so bad just for, just for being that we need help. We need their help at the price of our lives, at the price of uh, choosing our underwear, at the price of absolute control even over one's mind and decisions. And when I, when I came out of that construct, I had no idea how the real word, world worked. And mm -hmm. I am learning so much right now. <laughs> So, so much dot connecting and so much, I am, I am sewing this back together with the gold threads that I have spun from the dross that I was handed, right? Mm -hmm. That there's my power of moving from victim to survivor because I was programmed to want to die if I left that construct. What would you say were some of the indications that you were involved with something that was toxic the first one was the uh, was that cut for me it that was, was an, an indicator but i did not see it as such because i was within a construct that normalized it okay and the first time that you go through you know the rituals they place upon you this sacred undergarment and you are to wear it all the time Oh. And it is a, it is totally <laughs> terrible that they, they make you feel like it, it will, well, they tell you it will protect you from the power of the destroyer. So it's like magic underoos. Wow. Okay. And it's got their little tag in the back and you've got to wear them all the time. It has a rule tag in the back of the underwear? A, a little, uh, a little tag of like specific to this corporation wow so it's branded and there is no um there's no skin to skin with the spouse or very little right unless you're really rebellious it, but it goes beyond spiritual abuse because it has such a hierarchy that it is very similar to someone in a corporate world in but it's affecting your beliefs, your core beliefs of yeah. your of your faith, of who you are, of what you're supposed to be as a human being. Yes. I have some metaphor. Mm -hmm. I feel that my soul was spiritually veggie formed. Hmm. No, my mind, my mind was veggie formed. It was only allowed to grow into the size and shape of container that was prescribed to it. I feel like my soul was raped and murdered mm. near, nearly, nearly to death. And I know that that is like really strong, strong language. But my other metaphor is that um, I, found, I found some visualization, but thinking about myself and who I am, I found myself as a tiny little grain of rice that was buried under three dump trucks full of what I feel I am alchemizing into fertilizer. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. But I understand the, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the way that I see it as, as, as corporate narcissistic abuse is the, um, it will, it will never be good enough. Try, 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 try. And there will always, be something that you could have done better or that you should do better next time. The internal sense of self and internal guidance system is deactivated. It was for me, I can only speak from my experience. Mm -hmm. And the severing of the 
and I know this is really complex. I've been, the dot connecting has been amazing. Um, the reconnecting of the mind and soul mm-hmm. is actually allowing physical feelings related to emotions to mm-hmm. start like they're like jump starting. You know, that feels really personal to share, but I was under such a a numbness of Mm -hmm. the way that I understand abuse is that the common denominators are power and control. Right. Another human being. It takes away the sovereignty of that human being. Right. I mean, what I was hearing in, in what you said earlier was distinct trauma bonding. And because it's easy to look at this and say, well, we'll just walk away. I mean, it's, you know, right. fr- from an outside perspective, but really it is exactly the same as when we're, when we're with a narcissistic abuser one-on-one yeah. where, and maybe even a little more complex because you have an entire community around you right there to, um, I mean, you've got flying monkeys everywhere you look yeah. and you, your, your whole right. community is, is a flying monkey, right? Yes. And nothing is real. Like there, the friendships aren't friendships aren't real. So, what was it like getting out? Fucking terrifying. Terrifying. Yeah. I got to experience a smear campaign and character assassination and scapegoating without knowing what was happening. That's what I was wondering about. Yeah, as you left, if if yeah. how that happened. Yeah. It was pretty and, pretty devastating. That's what I survived. <laughs> so you left him and this corporation at the same time actually yes which was not necessarily my intent but i was so ingrained and enmeshed that um you know people have a tendency to not be able to see what is actually happening and actually my own parents um uh they uh they betrayed me and you know went with him because they were you know, still in the club. And I'm, I, I was like, peace out y'all. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it's, and you've, so you've got a, you've got a sea of trauma bonded people and and, and encouraged smear campaign going on from higher up to have these people do their bidding. Plus it's easy. It's easy to let a milk cow out to pasture because you know, the women don't like, bring home the bacon. I'm fairly well educated, but not in something that can provide a, a consistent career very, very easily. And, you know, with all the, you know, PTSD, I mean. Have you gone about reprogramming yourself with, from this? What's, what's, been, what's been really useful in, in your opinion? Okay, thank you. I think the first thing would be knowing that I'm not alone. Mm-hmm. Have, have you found support around it? Um, Very much so. Good. Yeah. Very much so. In fact, it, to the point that, that now I am able to speak about it, even though I'm stuttering over it, it, it you know, it's, uh, it's, it's time. It's time. I think Angie Atkinson, mm-hmm. Angie was the one that I first came across on YouTube. I was very, very excited to watch your, or, you know, watch and listen to your interview with uh, Ronnie mm-hmm. yesterday and, you know, looking forward and looking big picture. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I appreciated the opening that that creates for the future. Mm-hmm. You know, really, really appreciate that. In what way? What, what do you mean? That we're awakening um, to the fact the fact of personal responsibility for our actions and inter- interactions, and that we have choice, mm-hmm. and that we're not alone. And that's no, I know it makes sense through discovery and understanding. Yeah, we um, power that they hold over us dissolves, and then at that point, this opening for examining ourself and growing is possible yeah yeah and it's like you said when you were in it when you were in this um situation you didn't see it for what it was for a long time because uh, the discovery of it and the understanding of it wasn't there 
So how could you see it, right? You were, yeah, and you were just going along with what you thought was right. Yes, that cut off my intuition mm. from being active. And it had been a steady Kool-Aid drip, you know, from age right. 10 to 18. It was an, anest an anesthetizing. And the discovering of, uh, of Angie's videos and then uh, subsequently uh, Richard Grannon's. Mm -hmm. uh, and even looking at it now, I'm like... One reason this is super intense is that it's not just a parent raising you who is a narcissist. It's an entire community that is based on something that is abusive yes. and and culture and and it infiltrates your spiritual life as well as your psyche and your body and your mind right so and the threats of of dissent what amazing bravery you have that's an amazing bravery to get yourself out of that in spite of everything that you had to lose. Thank you. Thank you for that. I think being able to dot connect on, to, on an intellectual level was the gateway mm -hmm. to be able to integrate my the rest, you know, the rest of my experience. Um, I couldn't get to my intuition because I didn't have the informational input or deprogramming mm -hmm. or whatever it was to be able to go there, mm -hmm. but, that makes learning, sense. Um, but the grief, pushing through it, almost like, almost like labor, you know, mm -hmm. pushing through it has made it possible. And I understand this now on an experiential level. I only understood it from a the theoretical level before, instead of the bypassing, mm -hmm. And actually feeling it has created room in my body and in my emotions to feel the really good feel. Right. right. It's, oh my God, it's worth it. It is worth it. It's so it is. Worth it. You're, it's a, that's a really great, inspiring thing that you said because we get afraid of the feels. We get afraid of what it feels like in the body. Um, so we have an understanding and we start to feel the grief in the body and feel the pain and immediately either dissociate or yep. find a way to cover it up or distract ourselves. Netflix. Um, yeah, exactly. Anything. Yeah. anything. Exactly. And it's, it's once you have the understanding and the support under behind you at that point, going further into it and, and allowing the feelings, allowing the feelings to penetrate into the body and actually feel what the body is experiencing, what the emotional experience is creating in the body, then, as you said, that's when you move through and you move beyond the abuse into something much better. Yeah. It's really good. It's really and good. Owning, owning my experience and owning, owning the fact that I am a badass survivor Right. And that there is a tribe. There there are tribes of us. Mm -hmm. That is woo. <laughs> right. Just so awesome. You know what I'm finding interesting in talking with you about this is that you're describing the process really well of what happens when we're programmed to believe things about ourselves and about our life and about our worth and as human beings. And then what happens when you discover that that isn't the truth, that what you were taught was not the truth. And in fact, there's a whole different truth out there that, that is that we are worthy and um, we do have a right to our own thoughts and our own feelings. And then what that transition is like and how that freedom can be found there. And it's, I can hear it in your, in your words that, that the whole journey, you know, and, obviously obviously still healing but it's um you know on the right path this time <laughs> right yeah 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 my name is lise colucci for information on narcissistic abuse recovery coaching on group coaching or to be a guest survivor on this program please see the links below thank you don't forget to subscribe